the iced tea is cold, the robot is very, very frisky, <laughs> and I'd like to welcome you to the Thursday, August 21st edition of Modeling Blog Daily, where Bill just kind of rants with a cup of tea, or Joe, or I might even get a shake later on in the evening. <laughs> Today I'm going to talk about Egypt and Johnny Thunder. I've been uh, uh, led to try to get a hold of some of the old Egypt sets just because I really am drawn to the Orient Expedition series, which I have the entire series. And I know that uh, the Egypt stuff is high adventure. Well, in the process of getting some of the older sets, I... Uh, uh, I was asked by uh, several of my fans about the uh, the Red Eagle and if I was going to ever build it. Well, I, I do have it, and here it is. It's a, uh, a 7422 Orient Expedition Red Eagle, very, very rare set. And as you can see, it's all sealed, and eventually I'm going to break that seal and build that simple model just for you. It's the smallest of the Johnny Thunder planes. If you recall, I have done in the past uh, the Thunder Blazer, which is his regular biplane, which is a fine plane. Um, and uh, I have a video on the YouTube. Um, it also builds some alternate models, and I'll eventually get around to build build them all. Well. I, when I got one of these old Egypt sets in, I got a couple of the, the smaller sets with it. And this was a, a 5925 Lego System pontoon plane. And it's an adventurer's, and that's Johnny Thunder. And, and I bet you guys, some of you guys have probably never ever in a million years seen that one. Uh, now I want you to take a look at that plane. What's unique about it? He's got a, a shovel and a pick or a pickaxe or whatever you want to call it uh, connected to the back end of the engines of the plane. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's pretty cool. He also has a pontoon boat and uh, a regular old kind of a, a motor boat. Wonderful builds. I'll eventually get to it. There uh, is another old, uh, I better get my, if I don't make him kick every once in a while, he, he goes to sleep on me, guys. There's another called a 5918 Scorpion Tracker. And it's a Jeep, a little desert Jeep. And it looks real cool. And he's, it's got a map, and I'll be building that eventually too. Well I've actually got uh, two, two of the larger Egypt sets in. I did some digging on the Piron www there it is dot Piron dot com if you have a set that you want to have the instructions or inventory for Piron is the site and they have a list of all the Egypt sets and the three biggest are Mummy's Tomb, Sphinx's Secret Surprise, and Pharaoh's Forbidden Ruins. Well I've got two of those in the house and I'm getting the biggest one. I haven't got that yet. This is a 5958 Mummy Tomb and I'm going to be building this later on. It's got an obelisk. It's got a uh, kind of a statue of Tutankhamun, King Tut. <laughs> the easiest way to pronounce it's King Tut, um, and a, a scorpion tracker, and a whole bunch of maps, and 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 all kinds of secret traps. So that ought to be fun. On the back, they have ideas. And I'll, I'll build all these ideas, guys. I'll build them all. And they even look like they have a flying carpet there. And a helicopter with palm tree 
blades. <laughs> well, I'm going to be working on that later on. This is the uh, the second largest in the set. This is called a Sphinx Surprise, Sphinx Secret Surprise, 59. 78. Now look at this marvelous model. It's got a mummy uh, with a pharaoh's Feyre, kind of a hood. That's a, a skeleton. I guess that's their mummies with skeletons with a pharaoh hood. And then they got a casket, uh, the obelisk, and they got a sphinx, a real big sphinx with a little. I mean, this is going to be a really neat model, guys. And I think that's Osiris, uh, a black tent with a cooking fire. Just a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful model. It opens up. I got the box, and it even has a, a place to bury the treasure in, you know, in the, at the front of the Sphinx. That's where everybody says it's buried, guys. Below the Sphinx in the front, under the front of the paws, that's where the, all the treasures buried. But they, the Egyptians, won't let you go in there and get it. On the back, they have some great ideas. They have, uh, look at that. They got the tent on the back of a of the scorpion tracker. <laughs> and they got a mummy in there. You know, and, and, and everything looks cool to me. It looks way cool. I'll build all these ideas. Look at that. They got a little swimming pool. And there's a, there's another one of those fancy helicopters with the palm tree blades. <laughs> Anyhow, this will give you an idea of where I'm going. Uh, sometime I like I like to get some. You, some of you are wondering how I build models. Well, I, I really I, I do build them on a whim. Um, I, I really do build them on a whim. I don't plan for any day what I'm going to do. And some of you want me to build a Star Wars. Well, I built a couple Star Wars. I might build them more later on this week. I don't know. It, it depends on how I wake up in the morning and, I, and, and, and how the tea goes down. <laughs> Anyhow, Bill and Red and a Frisky. Frisky. Robot, which for you and yours, a wonderful Thursday ahead. And my robot says, Sayonara, friend. Sayonara.